Okay, good day everybody. This is uh, my completed second pack. Everything's soldered and uh, checked out. Everything's working perfectly. So I've got 182.8 volts total, which matches closely to what I had on my other one. Now I have to figure out how to charge them. Now in case people are wondering, no, I don't uh, pre-flux these uh, before soldering. I use um, resin. Um, solder with resin in it so it's 60 percent tin 40 percent lead and that goes very well um, the other important factor is soldering iron so you have to have a powerful soldering iron something that gets hot um, that goes that will go quicker there we go, 80 watts so that gets really hot and makes it go very quickly so you want to heat up these leads quickly uh, not to leave it on there too long um, it'll melt the plastic if you hold on for long also when you're tinning your 18650s if you leave the iron there uh, too long it can, can damage the cells especially on the negative side of it I think this is my belief on the positive side I seem to see that uh, the metal doesn't actually touch the, the internals so it's actually usually very quick to heat these up to solder these sometimes take a little longer depending some uh, LGs for some reason seem to be a thicker metal and uh, need to be heated up a little longer but again with an 80 watt iron and um, this 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 one works very well another one I have is this one so this is it's electrical solder and it's got uh, resin core in it so you can see that the, the flux of the resin that's in it is there as for the copper itself I get it from uh, wiring, uh, household wiring that the electricians use. So this is what I took it from. So wire like this has uh, three conductors. So these are the two main uh, conductors that are insulated. So you'd have to strip the wiring off of it and uh, the ground wire. So in this case, uh, this cable is 10 gauge for the conductors and 14 gauge for the ground. So for my uh, application on the prototype pack, I simply used uh, the ground wire, uh, which would be sufficient. Now, how did I determine that uh, that would be a high enough gauge uh, for my application? Well, I used a, a chart that I found online. It uh, gives you um, the wire gauge required for a circuit. Uh, if it's uh, non-critical, critical. Non-critical non means it's 10% uh, voltage drop. Critical is 3% voltage drop, so I always uh, like to keep the voltage drop as low as possible. So uh, in my application, the run current run, the run is very short, so let's say 0 to 6 feet. Um, for uh, To determine the current draw, I figure 18650 batteries would not be able to deliver much more than 5 amps. So I have two cells in parallel, which gives me a maximum of 10 amps. So this charge tells me all I really need is 16 gauge, so 14 gauge is more than sufficient. So that's it for this uh, video and uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll keep you guys posted.